Okay, so here is, here it is. This is a double tubing one that I got in exchange about a year ago. And what happened was the single tube one, I didn't, I didn't like the fitment at all. And I went back for, they, they didn't get refunds. So what happened was I went back for exchange. But I thought about it and I was like, maybe I won't, I won't install it because I don't really park in the streets as much, right? But then lately I have been parking in the streets because the, um, the R is back in town. So um, since I can't sell this, I was, this was up for sale actually. I didn't even open it. Um, I'm going to maybe just install it, install it and see how, how, um, how it fits. Hopefully this is the double tubing bar and I hope that it actually doesn't kick off the sensors. They're saying it won't kick off the sensors. Mm. But I really, I'm really doubtful about it, but here it is. Pretty nice packaging. But this, I went, instead of the wrinkle black finish, I went for the... Alright, so here's just a rough draft. I think it goes, right? Yeah, it goes up with the longer bar here. I think it looks very nice compared to looks pretty nice compared to the single tubing probably will be way up higher and actually protect the rear bumper a little bit all right so we are going to get this started i have a stubby half inch impact lunch uses m12 batteries This is a very little trim piece that you had to remove. It's very, very easy. Actually, I didn't even have to go all the way here. I have an open gap here. Right, but here it is. Looks great. You can put everything back in. All right, so we're gonna do a quick reverse. All right, it is beeping, but I believe it's only the front. So once I pull out, it is not hindering the parking sensors. So this is a double decker. And the thing is, I wanted to go for the for the single one back then because I thought it'll mess up with the sensors. But apparently it's not. All right, fellow Sienna owners, here it is. This is the final product right here. Here's the ground clearance, all right. This is from Black Horse Off-Road. This is a double tubing in gloss black. It reaches yay high, right beneath the reflectors, right beneath the sensors. So this is good because it doesn't set off the sensors right here. This is how much clearance I have right between the rear bumper. And it does shake a little bit. Let me do a shake test like that. It's on there pretty good. All right guys, so to summarize, this is the Black Horse Off-Road Rear Bumper Guard. This is a double tubing versus a single tubing that I initially tried to install. Uh, it's a lot better coverage. So I hope this video was uh, most insightful for everyone who is deciding between getting this or the single tube or even doing it at all. I think in the city and you, especially if you're street parking, I would think this gives you more of a peace of mind. Uh, if you have a garage, probably not. It's going to go ahead and hinder your gas efficiency, add more weight to the vehicle, and also kind of loading and unloading uh, the tail, the tailgate. It's going to give you a little bit more problems, uh, especially if you have a heavy stroller. But other than that, I think um, I like the gloss black look against this whole white and black theme. So uh, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.
Take care.